The project that we are doing is El Niño. El Niño is a large-scale warming of surface waters in the Pacific Ocean, which occurs every four to seven years. El Niño usually lasts nine to twelve months, which has a massive context effect on the weather patterns worldwide. La Niña is the term referred to the opposite of El Niño, and this is when the surface waters of the Pacific Ocean start to cool down to normal. El, Sorry. El Niño refers to variations in the temperature of the surface of the Pacific Ocean and in air surface pressure in the tropical western Pacific. The warm oceanic phase, El Niño, accompanies high surface pressure in the western Pacific, and the cold phase, La Niña, accompanies low surface pressure. El Niño Southern Oscillation is often called El Niño for short. El Niño causes dramatically increased rainfall in South America, which results in landslides and floods, while also causing dramatically decreased rainfall in Indonesia, which results in heat waves and droughts. Who cares? Well, a weak El Niño may raise sea temperatures in the Pacific Ocean only 1 to 2 degrees Fahrenheit. However, a strong El Niño conditions may rise temperatures to around 15 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Warmer sea temperatures causes a decline in plankton and fish in coastal waters, while also lowering lower sea levels expose any fragile underwater coral reef, which might have some endemic species such as coral reefs in the islands of Palau. Droughts can cause an increase in disease due to lack of water for sanitation and hygiene purposes, and many crops cannot survive in these conditions. Furthermore, warmer and wetter weather also causes a population boom in mosquitoes, which therefore can increase the risk of malaria. And how is El Niño cons conserved? Well, El Niño is a global climate pattern, and little can be done to prevent it. On the other hand, with new technology available these days, we're able to accurately predict when this weather pattern takes place and for how long, so we have a greater capacity to cope with the events. Therefore, it is possible to reduce the impacts of El Niño, such as on the penguin population, by preventing the sudden, uh, preventing the sudden effects of El Niño. <laughs>